Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got a After Effects tutorial on the light on the particle scope effect, which I use in my uh, 15k Get Cinematics contest. Now I'm going to have to go quite quick through this tutorial because it will be a long tutorial. But as you can see here, what we've got is we've got the scope wiping in, and we've got all these audio react particles around the edge. Now for this tutorial, you will need Trap Code Form, which is a third-party plugin, but just search up how to get it. It's it's quite easy. So this is what we're going to be making. So as you can see, we've got these particles that look really nice, they're audio reacting, and we've got some twists in the clip and some blur. So let's get into it, so we'll make a new project. Now I'm just going to import my the same clip. So, so obviously you use your own clip, uh, this one. And I'm also going to get a song, so you, again, use any song you want. So I will be going quick for this, so we're going to drag our clip into its own composition then we're going to make a new composition and call this main and we're going to make it about 15 seconds long, that's fine and then we'll drag our pre-composed clip into the timeline and we're just going to go and try and find so we, we find the shot that we want to, the scope to actually be on so for me it is about there, so use page up and page down just to go frame by frame and the shot is there, so I'm going to click so I'm going to go to edit and then split the layer and I'm going to click control D to duplicate it and I'm going to right click on the top layer and go time freeze frame now with this clip here we're going to go we're going to add some Twixter so we're going to type in Twixter and this is just to make it a lot, look a lot nicer, nicer so we'll fix the frame rate to 59.94 for me and we'll just go to where the score is biggest which is there Go forward a couple of frames and then put it down to maybe about two. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go type in fast blur and we're going to drag fast blur onto the clip as well. And we're going to click U to see our keyframes and we're going to go about a second forward after and then we're going to keyframe the blurriness at zero and then we'll go forward. Um, wait, if we just click U again to get up our keyframes. And we'll go 20 frames forward. So we can do this easily by clicking shift and page down twice. And then we'll just set the blurriness to about 15. And then we'll just repeat the edge pixels so we don't have this sort of bevel around the edges. So that's all good now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make another composition. And we're going to call this scope. And we're going to make it about two seconds long. It doesn't have to be long. And then click OK. And we're going to go back into our main, and we're going to copy that top scope layer that we um, freeze framed. So we're going to just kind of cut it by clicking Control X, and we're going to go into our scope, and then click Control V. Now, if you can't see it, just use your begin bracket to get it back, or just scroll across until it's here. So now we've got this frozen scope, but we don't want this all around the edge, so we're going to mask out the scope. Now, an easy way of doing this is just to go up to the rectangle tool, hold it down, go on the ellipse. And we're going to zoom in slightly, and we're just going to go on the click on the middle, and drag out. And then if we we want to keep it perfect circle, so hold shift, and then we want to keep it in the middle, so hit control at the same time, and just drag it out until you get all of the black away. So you just got the scope, which is there for me. So now we've got our scope, and that's all ready to go. So we're going to go back into our main, and we're going to drag in our scope layer, and we're just going to line it up just before it here and we'll make this and I actually what we'll do is we'll go back into our scope and we're just going to drag it down this this time indicator here and drag it to 50 frames so now our composition is only lasting that and so we can right click and then trim our comp to work area so now this is only 50 frames long and now we've got a shorter little section of it and we'll just line that up just before the freeze frame clip so it scopes there and it goes into the next clip. Now we're going to go to layer, new, and make a new solid, and call this form, and make it the comp size. And we're going to type in form in our effects and presets, and then drag that onto our form layer. Now what we can do is we can just trim it to the length of that freeze frame clip. So just we just know what we've got. So now we're going to drop down the base form. Now form does look confusing at first, but I promise you it is not as hard as it seems. So we're going to make the size in X a thousand and we're going to make the size in Y 
650. Size and, Z, size and Z, we are just put that down I don't know actually well actually we'll leave that for now and we'll put the we're gonna put the particles up in X and Y to 200 that just makes it a lot more dense so we've got a lot more particles <coughs> and now we're just gonna to want to make the particles in Z one because at the moment if I was to make a new camera like that and then we use the orbit tool if I was just to orbit around you can see there's three grids but we don't want that so we're just gonna we only want one so we're just gonna make it one so now there'll be only one grid and that's all for the base form for now so we're gonna now go down to the audio react we can so there's a lot of customization actually you know what we'll do is we'll go to the particle first we'll go to the particle tab and we'll change this feather to about 10 and make the size 2 and we can put up the size randomness to about 25 and the same with the opacity Make sure your transfer mode is add and we can just pick, you can pick any color you want. For now I'll just go for a nice blue and that's looking good. Now we're going to drag in our song as well and click LL to get up the waveform and we'll just drag it and I'll just drag it across to get to the more exciting part of the song. So that will do. Obviously you want to have your song lined up. So we'll go to the audio react tab again and click on our audio layer and obviously we'll make it the song. And now you get five reactors and you can literally do so much stuff on this but for now which I think looks pretty good we're gonna map we're gonna do the reactor one and we're gonna map it to disperse and we're gonna make the strength down to 50 so it's not as intense and then we're gonna also go down to react two and we're gonna do displace X and we're gonna also put that down to 25 so it's not shuffling around as much now we're going to go, and that's all for the audio act, but obviously you can add some more if you would like. Now we're going to make the disperse 22, so they just spread out, they spread out a bit more. And we're also going to go to the fractal field, and then this is where most of the, it all happens. And we're just, we can put the displacement up to about 180, I think I used. And now you see, you get, you get a lot, you, that looks a lot nicer. And that is all for now I believe yeah so that's looking pretty nice but what we can do is we can if I just solo this we can also add a spherical field and this will just if I put this strength off of one sphere to 100 you'll be able to see this little circle starts to appear and I put the feather down to zero and so we've got a clean circle and what we can do is we can just part the radius I think it was 288 I used and now we've got this sphere, obviously, and then we put our layer, we put it back on, and we put it below our scope. It just looks a bit, it, it won't affect it, but it will affect all the um, dispersing and stuff, so it will look a lot nicer. Now, it doesn't look very nice at the moment, because we have just got this um, sphere. So all we can do is we can make a new layer, and make a new solid, and make sure it's black, and we're going to call it track map. Click OK. And we're just going to make it get the ellipse tool and we're just going to hide it for now. And we're going to go into the center again. I'm going to drag out, hold shift and control. And we just want to make it a bit bigger than the scope. So about there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drop this, I believe, above the form. And now if you can't and now we're going to click F4 to get up our track map options. And on the form layer we're going to make it alpha in alpha map of the um, of the track map we made and now that doesn't look amazing so what we can do is we can just feather this out by quite a lot I mean it's all personal preference so that's looking quite good so now now it's just not as harsh and it slowly fades out which looks which looks nice so now we're pretty much done I mean that's now audio reacting to your music and again go into your form don't just copy down all my settings you know, mess around with it. There's so much you can do in it. I mean, you could look at look at all these different reactors. You could even mess around with the sphere size and the particle size. There's so much you can do. So again, we'll just trim down our track map so we know what we've got. It's always good to trim your layers so you know what they are. And that's about it. But now we've just got it. Now we want to add a transition. I mean, you can add literally any of these transitions if you go to effect. 
transitions. You could add really any of these, but I'll just use a radial wipe because I think it looks quite nice actually. And we're going to keyframe it at zero um, or 100, I'm not sure. Yeah, 100, then go to the end and keyframe it at zero. So now that should wipe on. So as you can see, the form's starting to come on, but now we want to do that with the others. So we'll copy this radial wipe, paste it on the track map. And I'll just see, if, oh, it hasn't copied the other keyframe. That's fine, so we just go to the end, 100, and then post, paste it on the scope. And that's, now the zero is over there, it's a bit weird. And now we'll put that up to 100 as well. Now, this should, Oh, something's gone wrong, obviously. Ah, see. Right, we need to swap these keyframes. My bad. Now that, there you go. So now it's wiping in. And now what we can do to get rid of this harsh edge, we can just add the feather, maybe put it up to 100. Actually, maybe a bit less. Let's put it down to 50. And we'll just do that for the track map. And also the form layer. Oh, I've lost it. Here we go. So now we haven't got as much as a harsh edge, and that just wipes on. Oh, the track mounts the wrong way around, because as you can see, it's wiping on the other way. So again, we're just going to switch the keyframes. My after effects can be weird sometimes. So there we go. There we have it. So you, you've got this Twixer clip, and a blur comes in, and then the scope wipes on with these audio react particles which looks really nice and into the next clip. So that's all for guys, so expect some more edits and tutorials coming out soon. Please request anything you might want. And that's all, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, cheers.